So after I upgraded from the Galaxy S over to the Galaxy Nexus, I was kind of curious about uh, what the differences would be in the, in the voice actions. Uh, so I'm going to compare this really quickly in this video. Uh, you can see that the S is running 2.3.7 and the Galaxy Nexus is running 4.0.1. I'm just going to run through some of the, uh, the basic voice actions and what it looks like on both the phones and how fast it is. The one killer feature that I like to show with voice actions is starting navigation because it's a really quick thing to do when you're getting into your car and you need to go somewhere and you just need reassurance on the address or, uh, or maybe even a better directions to it. Navigate to McDonald's. Kind of a crappy example, but I'll use it as, as is. As you can see, both the phones do a decent job of it. The, the maps looks a little bit better on the Nexus, but uh, they're both doing the exact job that they're built to do. Another feature that's really cool on voice actions is the note to self functionality. This one sends you an email. Um, it's it's kind of cool because it's using standard technology out there, which is your email. Uh, you can access it later. It's not in some special app somewhere on your phone. Note to self, pick up milk, eggs, pizza, and potatoes. I'll use this one when I'm uh, heading out to the grocery store or something like that. I need to send myself that email. The third voice action that I use with these phones is sending quick texts to people. Send text to John Smith. Hey, are we still on for this afternoon's meeting? And as you can see, it does a pretty good job of it. So long as a business has their phone number listed appropriately online, one of the other cool things you can do with these is actually call the business directly. Call Canadian Tire, West Edmonton. I'm going to cancel those because I don't really want to call them, but you get the picture. You can use the same functionality to call people in your contact list. Call John Smith, mobile. You can use the voice actions to dial numbers. I don't use it personally because I'd rather just use the keypad, but it is possible. Dial 555-5555. Another voice action that's available, but that I don't use a lot myself, is the ability to send emails to people. Send email to John Smith. Hey John, can you send over the meeting notes when you get a chance? There's a couple other voice actions that I'm not even really going to get into. Um, you can do a map of, you can do directions of, um, you can do listen to and, and have it play music off of your playlist. I don't have any music on either of these phones, uh, so I wouldn't be able to do a demo, but there are all those other voice actions out there. All in all, the experience between Android 4 and, and Android 2 uh, version 2 on the voice action side are pretty much the same. I, I haven't really noticed any much of a difference. Um, when you go ahead and edit text afterwards on Android 4, you can use your voice to, to continue editing after the fact, whereas with Android 2 you're kind of stuck with as is. But as you see with these basic usage scenarios that we just went through, it's not a really big deal. 99% um, of the time it's going to be exactly the same going forward.